Hello everyone, I just got Doom 3 BFG Edition working on Linux and I figured uh, I'll just uh, show this off a little bit as uh, I'm starting to get into more of this making from source code nonsense. It's fun! And I uh, figured I'd have a go at it since uh, Doom 2016 Edition is coming around. And yeah, uh, I built this from the GitHub repository from Robert... Ooh, from Robert... Becker bands? I think I said that wrong, but it's the RB Doom 3 BFG. So, and I remember playing uh, the original just Doom 3 on the Windows so long ago. It feels like ages ago. Oh, oh yeah, that's a thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for so f most of the part, it's just, you know, Doom 3 BFG edition with no real extra frills or anything. Uh, the sound... I only played the BFG edition on Windows just like a little bit because I had one of those typical things on Steam. You buy it on sale and you never play it because, you know, reasons. Uh, it wasn't that hard to build. Uh, oops, the control key is not the duck key. And, oh yes, the, the big controversy about the BFG, BFG, that, that, the BFG edition is that... Uh, yeah, there's the control key again. The flashlight key, because the original Doom 3, to bring out the flashlight like I am now, you had to put away your weapon, which added to the scary factor, which was, you know, do you bring out your flashlight or your gun? And they just got rid of that. But the sillier thing is that it's not like you bring out your other hand or anything. I mean, look, you're, both your hands are out doing things, but you got your nipple flashlight ready to go. But to compensate that, they uh, they added a uh, battery meter, a la Half Life Two. It's not actually. I think it's about the same amount of time. Sitting here. Yeah, it, it may be just a little bit longer, but I remember in Half Life Two, that flashlight you had to click it on and off quite a bit. But I mean, for the most part, you know, flashlight. It's a, it's there. It just looks silly. But runs great. Uh, there's no real particular settings other than anti-aliasing. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Uh, the anti-aliasing in Doom... Let's interrupt this guy here. Uh, if you go to settings here in systems, the anti-aliasing, the... if I disable it here... Yeah, let's... Oh, I can only do it while... Ah, oh, dang. All right, well, anyway, let's get some jaggies. Where's some jaggies? Okay, there's some jaggies. Right there, you can see some jaggies on the side. Change that to... There, you can see that. That one hard, might not be able to see on the capture. That one works. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. So we'll just stick with the, the first one there. We'll just continue because we don't really need to reset. Uh, I do have motion blur on. Just, I don't know. Some games it feels nice. Some games it doesn't. This one, the motion blur, if you have it on 4x, just, I'm not sure how well it's going to portray in a capture, but it looks ugly. And I almost switched it off and then I went, oh yeah, let's see what 32 is, and uh, yeah, it's it's actually working pretty well. I'm recording at 60 FPS, but I have a 144 hertz refresh rate monitor, and it's butter smooth. There's, there's no hitching, there's no frame loading or anything like that. There's uh, what looks funny right now is the whole base is shaking because I just, oop, I'm out of ammo. Is that there's crazy, crazy hop up going on because they opened the teleporter, oh no! And this, uh, I mean aside, the only thing that makes this game look aged, honestly, is the textures. But it's really not that bad, it's just because they're the they're the dark kind of textures, and those always... They never age well. I mean, if you look at them, you got those crazy colors, but... If I don't turn on the flashlight... You can kind of ignore it, except for, like, spots like this where you're like... Oh, I shouldn't get that close. I should... I should back up further. 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 There. Looks halfway decent now. <laughs> but that's... that's just the age of the game. You can't really blame it for that. Uh, I'm not running, by the way, which is the, the normal Doom speed, which is what the big controversy is about. 
the new Doom. I've s I haven't even touched the beta or anything, uh, but I've seen enough people, other people playing it, and before I even form my own opinion, I just watch someone play it, turn on the mute button, and just watch the gameplay, and it just looks bad. Just, I, I can't, I can't agree to it. So here I am with the magic of uh, open source, no, source code available. I'm sure that's the more technical term for this version of source code. It's under GPL? Hold on, let me look at my laptop here. It's GPL, right? Uh, yeah, GPL, GPL source code. So for those very specific about it, that's what I got. Uh, the little cutscenes work. Uh, the Bink audio is able to play under FFmpeg, so there's nothing. There's nothing screwy, and so far it feels like the old Doom that I played before on my very. I think it was an Athlon XP CPU. I I will say I did not have this many frames. Oh hi, yes I remember you from the. This was. Even back in the day when I first got this game, I was like, okay, come on, that's that's just silly. Oh, that's right, the, the right click on the mouse is also jump. Body parts, yay! Oh, hi. I do remember playing this in a very dark room by myself. Well, not the PFG edition, but the original Doom 3. I will say, having... Yeah, being... Challenging yourself and not using the flashlight is hard because I think I have to. I would have to map it all the way across the keyboard to keep me from doing anything. I always thought this was neat. The oh, blurry shake. Yeah, I'm not even doing that. That's that's the game. There we go. I always thought this was kind of neat. Wish more games did this. Yeah, for the most part, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Oh, I should be running. Sorry, I'm not going at full doom speed. Hi. And there's a print. Yeah, this is the only thing that uh, I wish I could disable is, I don't know, the, the corpse disappearing on me was never, like, it just didn't seem right. Because in the original, like, uh, Doom 1 and 2, You'd run around your whole level and you'd see all your corpses you left behind. It's like, oh yeah, I did that. I didn't do it right. I missed something. There we go. Oh, more shakies. I will say, with how much this... I forgot how much this game shakes your screen. This is one of those few games where I'd recommend the motion blur on, just so it takes the edge off of the shakies, because... Oh, God. Normally I'm against motion blur because whipping around and aiming at something, yeah, it's just not fun. Loading. Yeah, everything seems to work fine. The video is played fine. The All the shadows seem correct. The, there's flashlight shadows? Yes, there is. Oops, hi. Yeah, there's flashlight shadows and all that good stuff. Um, Actually, let's let's do a test here. Let's uh, let's save. Let's go to the main menu. Uh, yes. Let's go to where is uh, quick to change game. There we go. Uh, Doom 3 BFG edition comes with these. Oh, doesn't work. Let's find out. No, oh, look at that. It works. Yeah. There we go. Now we can now we can have ourselves a jolly old time. Oh. Yeah, see this was the speed everything moved at. Oops, what did I do? Oh yeah, that music. Yeah, see the corpses would stay and you'd go, okay, I did something in this room. I don't I don't have to do anything here. Oh okay, yeah. So this one works. Oh, that's right. That's what I was going to check. There's also the uh, other versions of... Please die. Come on. There you go. How do I bring that down again? I forget. Stand over here or... Oh, no. Right. I have to go through this door. Say hi to him. No, it wasn't that one. I don't know this is here, so let's just do that. Armor. No, I keep forgetting I can't jump. I keep hitting the space bar going, I can jump. No, you can't, can't jump.
Oh, they take forever if you don't have a shotgun. Okay, here I think you have to run somewhere. There we go. Come on, give me. Oh, right, that spot is unlocked. If I go over here and go back over here. Oh, got too far. I think it's on this first step. Do do do. There we go. All oh, the flashies. Alright, that seems to work. So if we exit here, quit, uh, change game. Just for giggles. Oh, yeah, this, uh, this works too. Cool. So, uh, it got a whole bunch of doom working. There's one other thing I want to check here. Uh, campaign, new game. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, Resurrection of Evil. Oh, I don't think I clicked on it. There we go. Yeah, the uh, cutscene works and all that good stuff. Wow, that's a very annoying sound for text appearing on the screen. All right, skip this. No, can't skip it. All right, I guess we're sitting here until the game starts. Mm-hmm, yep, okay. Well, uh, oh, so the way I had this working is since it requires the Doom 3 BFG data. Can we skip this? Yes, we can. That's right, big old scary thing happens. Uh, because this requires the Doom 3 BFG data, which is only accessible through Steam, uh, even if you buy the CD, the CD is encrypted until you use Steam to install it and all that good stuff. So what you have to do, if you're on Linux anyway, uh, easiest way would be to install a Wine version of Steam, download the Doom BFG 3 data, Doom 3 BFG data, and then build the GitHub of, uh, what is it, RB Doom 3 BFG, and then just, uh, I just put the data into the uh, .rb Doom 3 uh, folder and base in your home directory. It, it'll say it when you compile it. It'll tell you what files. Uh, you can put it in the build directory itself if you want. I just put it in the home directory so I remember it. And it built. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this all works. Do I have, yep, I still have the uh, nipple flashlight. Can't be without that. Oh, there's, there's a poor sack up there. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. And uh, he's been reverse nailed? Yes, reverse nailed. Okay. Alright, so that works. It's uh, just, just for giggles. We already did everything else. List of maps available. Oh, yeah. New game. Yes, yes. Lost mission. I don't think I've ever played any of the lost missions. So it seems to be six hours after the initial Doom 3. Let's see. I've never seen this cutscene, so let's check it out. Ooh, fancy camera angles. That's not an alien's callback at all. Wow, these guys have the Metal Gear Solid Syndrome to the extremes. Yeah, that whole scene was just aliens. All of it. Oh yeah, hi, I'm the... I'm just this guy. Wasn't even introduced. I'm just some dude. Oh, you're different. And see, the other thing too is that there's these different monsters and you only get to see them when they're rush charging your face, which, you know, you don't get to enjoy their details. Then, poof, their body disappears. It's no fun. Wish I could turn that off. And then, of course, while you're shooting them, they get bloody spots on them, so you can't even tell what, what they look like. Uh, unless, you know, just all bloody. Okay, cool. Well, uh, this, was, uh, this was a fun little trip down uh, making things work. 
with cool people who make fun, interesting things on the githubs. Okay, well, I think that was all I really needed to show. It was just uh, a little interesting little tidbit like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're, you're dead, please. Ah, uh, wait. No, there's still one more thing for me to... Ch I, I'm pretty sure it will not work. Uh, let's just uh, find match. Just see what we got here. Oh, is it like a quick match? Hmm. I don't think I can find servers. How do I just like go? I don't want to invite anybody, I just want to go. Why is this so hard? Huh, I, I do not understand how to multiplayer. Either that or it's just fully disabled in this mode. It probably... wait, can we see the leaderboards? Mm, as I th Ah, okay, so yeah, this doesn't interface with the Steam API at all, so you won't earn your achievements or anything like that. And I'm pretty sure the multiplayer is probably going through the Steam API as well, so yeah, that's probably why we're not seeing any button. Get to a private match? Hey, we can just be by ourselves, you know, all alone. So, I mean, you know, if, uh,. If you somehow have other people, <laughs> you can, uh, you know, play with them. Uh, or, uh, you know, play something else where everyone else is playing. Okay, alright, well, that was, uh, that was me showing it off. Hope you enjoyed.